going to work? Yes, it will. Alright, uh, I think we are live. I'm not seeing anything on the stream period. Oh, now I do. Let's go. Today we are... Let's put that on a second screen. You don't need to see this. Uh, today we are doing a little bit of modding. We are adding a new car into the game. Well, at least half of it, because I already did all the boring stuff. And then we're gonna do a jet with a different weapon. So, and we have Hugo here too, of course. Hello. Hello. And, yep. Nice to be here. The, a new car. the amazing thumbnails already up. Let me just... Yeah, I, I noticed. It's, it's glorious. Let me just shamelessly advertise everywhere. Uh, video releases. There we go. That spelling error, that wasn't even on purpose. I was like, I typed, oh, it, in, one? I typed it in really fast. <laughs> and then I was like, okay, I'll just leave that. Wait, wait, where? Uh, I, modding Oh, in video releases? On the, the, the spelling mistake on the thumbnail. <laughs> modding F. How did I not <laughs> notice that? I did notice it, but I left it. <laughs> it's, it's great. I also really love the transparency in the window. Yep. <laughs> it's, it's clear that a lot of effort went into trans <laughs> transporting Vico into that car <laughs> smoothly. <laughs> I had to do extra work to do that, so... Yeah, you need to detect uh, the edges of the window and then <laughs> cut it out. Also, is the music too loud on the stream, if you're watching oh, that? Um... I have it muted, but I can put it, turn it on. Hang on. I don't know if you can hear it then, but maybe. I don't think so, no. Okay, now that all of the planning stuff is out of the way, what are we going to do? Maybe, I... maybe, maybe tune it down like 20%. It's at 5%. <laughs> okay, well, that, that would be 4 then, I guess. Uh, 2 is too fine. I think that's fine. It sounds fine to me. Yeah, it, it, it's 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 alright. It could be slightly lower, but it's not uh, not disturbing. I'll put it at one then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, this is the car we are putting in the game, and as you can see, it's lagging. Just ignore the pink stuff. That is just because it has no texture yet. And as you can see, I already prepared everything. We have. This didn't come with detachable parts and everything, so I just did that. So we have doors that can come off, we have inside of the doors, we have mirrors, we have uh, the glass. That's not going to be detachable, but it's like a separate thing. It's going to have different um, reflection and stuff, so it can actually be a mirror. So yeah. Yeah, the hood of course, we have... A lot of the stuff is from Just Cause 3 itself, the interior, the seats, the uh, the undercarriage, everything. Because okay, just interchange parts of it and put them into another model from uh, another car? Put them into this car because uh, it didn't come with uh, interior, it was just like the shell, it was... So, because uh, you weren't yeah, supposed just to like, look inside of it, yeah. And ah. also behind the grill and everything that was like uh, blocked off because it wasn't supposed to be like this, but... I just did it anyways <laughs> because I can. And it's gonna look a lot better like this, obviously, the hetero parts and stuff. And the only thing I don't think I did very well is like this, this light, because I don't know how to texture that. It didn't come with any textures, but I'm hoping I can make it glow a little bit in the game. And then... I, I liked it. By the way, I like the view in the middle. The what? It's this? The view on the bottom, on the bottom middle. <laughs> oh yeah, these the are... It's, it's not the wheel on the bottom. It's yeah, really practical. Yeah, these if you are drive all... around. No, yeah. that's that's a these, yes. <laughs> it's 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 delayed, but yeah. Uh the ones that are on the car, why are they true? Oh, of course it's, I'm, I'm stupid, it's delayed, yes. The ones that are on the car are actually just for show so I know how it's gonna look, and the ones down there are because this is how they are in the files. They are just in the center of the world. So I didn't hmm. have to move them around. I just uh, put those sense. here so I, have to, so I can see if I have to resize them or like whatever. 
it seems to be pretty much the right size, hmm. I guess. So yeah, uh, I have all of them, all of the model separators, in, not in here. In, parts to scale. These are all of the models that we have. The ones that start with HSV Malu, these are like independent models, and then the ones that are like uh, don't have that are just are ones that are gonna be attached to stuff. So actually, we're gonna only have like uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're only gonna be about have about half of those models because a lot of them are gonna be attachable things. I will show mm -hmm. that. I haven't done that yet. What I have done is uh, done all the textures. What isn't here yet is uh, a transparent one for windows and stuff, but I'm just gonna steal one later. And yeah, that's it for now. So let's just start by adding all the models. And this time I was sure to not uh, accidentally export all of them the wrong way and then have to do it all over. <laughs> I did that last time. Oh, nice. But that wasn't on stream, <laughs> uh, luckily. You didn't have a backup or something? Oh, I did. I have like the like the one here, where it's like all at one. So I just had to export all of them like separately again. It was uh, not amazing. So let's just start with the obvious one, which is the body. <clears throat> and start dragging on the textures. And someone... Message me. I'm watching your stream. That's great to hear. Thank you. <laughs> uh, it is ver looking very Shrek green. I don't know how that's going to look in the game because the game likes to oversaturate. <laughs> so we're going to see about the you, color. You're, you're, saying it's, you're saying it as if there's something wrong with, with Shrek green. Oh, of course it's not. No, no. But like, oh, I don't know how it's going to look in the game saying. when it's oversaturating it. Mm. Okay, what do we need? It really need... depends on the lighting, right? Like, if there's um, the brightest lights possible, it will probably look like this, right? Mm. And when it's really dim light, like at night, it will be a lot darker, I mm. assume. Yeah. So, let's so start. Th there's, barely, there's barely ever uh, enough light to fully light up an object. Mm -hmm. At least that's what I would and say. Also, you're going to <laughs> see that uh, a lot of the parts are not in one model that are they're separate because they have separate textures and you cannot add um one model that uses several textures that's a little annoying but it is what it is hmm. and also in the game uh you have like the model separated you have the body you have the, then the, the engine is a separate model even though it doesn't need to be like it doesn't detach or anything so i just Put it all in one model, it's less work, and that's all I care about. <laughs> we have engine, then we need interior, obviously. Uh, interior. And you can see the seats are from a different car. Because I really wanted to get it close to the actual thing. And the actual car I'm gonna, has... <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I can't say... Uh what seats are from this car and which ones are from another car. <laughs> it's not like I can see the difference anyway. Okay, lights. But I trust uh, you're right. <laughs> okay, lights. These are the part. This part is going to light up. So we're going to give this like... This is... Uh, GigaChat actually found it out like a lot of things. So let's give that like emissiveness. So it actually lights up. I didn't know about this, I never really played with these sliders, and when I saw his car, I was like, wow, how did he do this? And it was, it's it's literally just this. And now we have this, these here, and the ones oh, and down these, there. These have something to do with the weird texture flickering, right? Ah, uh, you mean the, the, the spots? Yeah, the, the weird lines and shades and everything. Uh, no, that was, let me show you real quick, when I go into Blender. Oh, that's something else? Yeah. That is, if uh, let's not import an XML file, that is not gonna work. <clears throat> when you export a model, I will just do the whole thing because it doesn't matter. You have here on the side 
uh, normals. These are mesh normals, not uh, normal maps. I don't know the full difference, but this is if you uh, uncheck this, it's not gonna export them, and then it's not gonna do the weird shading. Hmm. Okay, that, that's really simple, but if yeah. you don't know it, it's yeah. really annoying. <laughs> exactly. Uh, seeds. I wanted to do seeds. Ah, seeds. 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 Uh, seeds, yeah. These are from the windshield. And the interior itself is from the, the SUV. Kavala it is, I think it's called. Uh, yeah, and that's one. The seat mounts are from the the D90, the Mercedes looking one. I think. Why wouldn't you use the the seats and the seat mounts and everything from the same car? Uh, wouldn't that make it easier to kind of mesh them together? Uh, yes, but also I think this looks better because the uh, the interior. If like, if I took the seats from this interior, they wouldn't really match, and I think these look a lot more sporty. So I I went with those. So okay, yeah. Ah, uh, what else? Windows body. Uh, I'll do those later. Undercarriage. The where is this? There. And this is always really annoying to fit because you really have to do you have to do the wheel welds. You have to do the wheel welds again in the back, and then you have uh, this this back here in the back. This really takes a little, the longest time. I think it took me like two days. Whoa. I mean, I could have done it faster. Even, oh, yeah, sorry. Even though it's like things you, like most people don't really look at it that much. Like you, you see it for a quick moment, and then uh, you just drive your car upside up, and you don't ever, you don't ever see it. I mean, yeah, but if but, you, yeah, yeah, it's just nice to to make it. If work you flip the car and it and it's there, it's much nicer. Yeah, and also yeah. a little detail. We don't have a mirror yet because that also needs special settings so it is a separate model where is it it's it's like interior glass yeah this we give this a texture and this is just pure white and we're just gonna do a specular gloss all the way and metallic all the way and then it's it looks better than mirrors do in the game so that's really funny <laughs> I can just do that, and I th yeah, uh, windows, 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 uh, body windows, and I need to check what was it? Transparency alpha blending. And then I need to add an actual need to add an actual texture, but I don't have one yet, so I just H just P. I will just rename one and then just replace it later with an actual one. So ignore that it's gray now, it will actually be transparent later. So just ignore that for now. And then the last one is the actual, wait, what did I call that? Lights? This. The one that I said, I'm not sure how it's going to look in the game. So I think I'm going to make this a little bit. Uh, What was I gonna do? Emissive. <laughs> hmm. And just hope that it's bright enough so that you don't really see it, that it doesn't look that great. And that is the main body model itself. So let's export that. And you're gonna know when it's done when this goes back to 60. It drops to like 20 when it's exporting. And then goes back to 60 when it's done. So, don't close it before it's okay. done, or the model is going to be corrupted. Ah, yeah, that makes sense. I learned that the hard way. Why would you close it anyway? Or does it not tell you when it's done? Uh, no, it doesn't. It just it literally just goes back up to 60 FPS and then... Oh, okay. There's no progress bar or something? Nope. That... Okay, that's kind of uh, not that... really intuitive. And then let's actually make it use models. Boing. With the backup here, we can get rid of that. 
Okay, then let's. What is next? Uh, hood. We could do that. That is just one model. Where is it? Uh, hood. There we go. Luckily, it's just one, so we can just save that. Where is it here? So when you're done with the car and the plane, mm -hmm. I see on the top that it says more. Mm -hmm. So are you potentially going to make more mods today? Uh, maybe I'm gonna start on the uh, flamethrower mech. That is something I wanted to do for a while. I think I told you. Oh. I told you though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're not gonna get into the flamethrower though yet because that is gonna that would take too long. I think. Uh, but yeah, let's see. Let's. Do, yeah, let's still, I, I can't wait to use the flamethrower mech. Yeah. That, that sounds <clears throat> so much fun. It's probably kind of hard to make it look good, but I think. To, uh, for just for using it, that will be so much fun. Mm. I hope it works in multiplayer because it's just gonna be a shotgun, like uh, that does the damage. So let's see how that works. Mm. Yeah, if it's synchronized. Mm. Yeah, it should be. Well, I, I, if, it, yeah, if it's I not, that it, would be kind of sad. The thing is, miniguns are pretty well synchronized, mm -hmm. and you'd say that these are pretty hard to do because they have a lot of bullets firing mm. each second. Yeah. And meanwhile, explosives for uh, for like a tank, that's just one uh, projectile, and the game really struggles with that. So mm -hmm. I'm not entirely sure what the limits are for synchronization. I think shotguns should be fine in general. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you just fight each other with sh shotguns, mm -hmm. they generally do connect. Yeah, shotguns work fine. Yeah, so it would probably be fine. And that is the left door done. Yeah, these are easy. Mm. It's not so easy to make because, uh, once again, the inside of this is from the uh, SUV. So this took also this also took a while to fit because it is this door is uh, longer. I don't know if you can see it here. It's a little bit. It's not straight. I made it. I made it a little bit uh, tilted it a little to the left so it fits better. But I don't think no. It it can be visible. Look. It goes along with that if you look at the top. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Just slightly. Yeah. Like, if you didn't make it, you wouldn't ever pay attention to it, so... Yeah, of yeah. course not. Uh, where is the door? Here. What was this door left? Yes, door left. Two? But I have three. Oh no! Did it not do it? Don't tell me! I'm gonna scream. Is this? No, there's no zero. There's no zero in it. Oh, that doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It's fine. It's fine. I can. I can improvise. I can just. Okay. Now it's now it's window. That I don't care. Win there because there has to be an extra character because it doesn't automatically change DDS into DDSC because Pact is DDSC and DDS mm -hmm. is just so we can edit it for the people watching. So I have to add an extra character and then edit it in the hex editor because the guy that made the tool before he disappeared he didn't think about making it change it automatically. So here we are suffering. But that means I also have to add it to that in the body. Window. Yes. Hugo, you should make a car like this. I think it would be fun. Uh, I've, I've never really done this. Like car or vehicle modding at all. Not even the stats. I have tutorials for all of that. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I'm, I'm busy with other stuff. If you're already... Maybe, maybe one uh, day. Huh? Well, 
Well, I, I do really want to make a hang glider at some point, but I don't really know how to do it yet. If you're not going to do uh, another speed run, then at least do the, the vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> Why are those two connected? They're, they're totally different things. I just decided that they're connected. Okay, I'll just do a um, race to Mr. Snowman speedrun. That only takes like seven oh, minutes. Yeah, I can yes. do that. Wait, uh, which uh, ranking are you on currently? Oh, I don't know. Probably what? like 10th or something. I had like a fine time, but it wasn't great because there's um when you arrive at the cave and you help out Mario, there's a loading screen mm -hmm. before you uh, enter the car together. And for some people, <clears throat> that loading screen is five seconds oh, or even yeah. less. And for some people, it's 20 seconds. And for me, it was on the longer end. Oh, and that no. makes such a difference when your speed run mm. times are between, I don't know, 6 minutes 30 and 7 minutes 30. That's pretty much the range. And 20 seconds is a lot of time to lose on that part. Yeah, okay, let fair. me check speedrun.com. Uh... But I haven't tried it too many times. So. Also, I did not enable yeah. alpha on this door. So this was the window. Gotta quickly drag on the textures again because I forgot. That. That. Is this the right one? Yes. And then that. Okay, save that. Boing. Did you find it? Um. No, I can't find the. Uh... The layout changed, so I'm kind of confused. The layout to find the speed run. Yeah, on the website, just mm. a little bit. So I can see any percent, mm. one hundred percent, all provinces, and Sky Fortress DLC. Mm. But I don't see. Ah, wait, I need to. Okay, now I can see. Hang oh, on. Okay. I'm seventh. Oh wow. Okay, With no eight minutes and seven seconds. But oh. the the best time is, of course, Nordic Rock Hopper. Mm. Who else? And mm. he has 40, 40 seconds less. Ah, uh, and there's a lot of there's a lot of people in that range between. Uh, yeah, they are eight seconds apart, mm -hmm. and then there's a big heap. So, those first four people they have a really good PC, hey. and they are really fast. Okay, now let's. I just added the wrong model type, uh, but luckily we're only doing mirrors right now, so those only have two parts. Because, of course, mirrors got to be a separate model because they have to detach. Uh, where was it? Door elbow or class. And then make that reflective again. You're going to see in the game later how good this actually looks. I am curious. It's funny because uh, Giga Chat and me found this at pretty much the same time, like without even talking to each other about it. Huh. Win no at Windows. Mirror. Oh. I wonder how many people are clicking on the video because they're subscribed and how many vi videos, how many, I can't talk, how many people are clicking on the video <laughs> because of the thumbnail. <laughs> oh, they, they shoot. Oh yeah, They should definitely. just give you views just because of the thumbnail. But I've seen, <laughs> right now there's three people watching, but I've seen five, I think, at some point. Oh, let's go. So that's, that's decent. But of course your subscriber count has also skyrocketed to, uh, lately. I don't know why. It used, to be, it, was... it used to be like 500, 600, and now in yeah, like it's... a month time since your last video, it's, well, 800, it's... Uh, 49 it says now. It's grown so much since the uh, the developer change video, and then again from the uh, the dev area video. Door R. Yeah, the DOS video that did really well. Hmm? Your last video did really well. Hmm. 
I mean, I guess my last last video because the last video was the modding video, uh, the the Shrek plane video. Oh, of course. I forgot about that one. Also, for everyone but watching that's wondering, this is the right mirror, but the model renderer mirrors everything for some reason, so it looks like it's the left one, but it's actually right. Right. No, left. Sorry. <laughs> uh, this looks right. Also, I tried looking up, uh, because this this model didn't come with rims, so I was like, okay, let's look up how uh, a rim model for this car, and I think I sent you that, they were like 30 euros. But yeah, it's, it's insane. Like, like the game itself, Just Cause 3, uh -huh. is much, much cheaper than just one model that you want to import into the game. I'm sure the mod pack at this point is like, three times... As three times as much like in models that I bought than just because three was at launch. Okay, yeah, let's exactly. Look that yeah, of course, far, right now, like, I think it is right like now you can buy it for like two euros. Okay, yeah. Wait, really? Is it on sale again? Well, it's on sale all the time, so you can always get a key for two euros. Okay, fair. We have Miro, it's the plates, and then wheel, and then we're done. But even if you don't get the key, just wait two, two weeks and it's on sale again. <laughs> Mm. Also, I just realized that I forgot something again. Uh, great, 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 great. I have to redo the body model, that is amazing. Because I forgot to add the mirrors, uh, the, well not mirrors, but like the invisible texture on the, on the lights. Great. Uh, the, the second one was engine. Then was interior, surely. Uh, then was what is next? Seats. What is this? No, that's what. No, I'm confused. Why is this also funny? Okay. This was seats. Yep, and then was the seat mounts. Where's the seat mounts here? And then was undercarriage, I think. Yep. What's left? Lights. Oh, lights was one of those. Okay. Uh. Why is the why does it save the body texture, but not whatever else? I don't oh, that's, know. That's windows. And the last one is. Okay, I also have to do. What I forgot last time was the cap, the uh, the, at least that's what I call it. I don't know like, what to call it, properly. Where is it? Light caps. Because the uh, the class on the. Oh no, that's clipping. I'm crying. No, it's clipping. God damn it! I don't even see the thing you're talking about. On the left side, you can see it's like uh, in the model. When once it catches up. Why oh, over it... there, yeah. Now, yeah, now it's called off. Why is it fine on one side but not on the other? Actually, it might just be only in the render because it's really close. What if it's? Yeah, maybe. Or maybe it's like offset by a couple of millimeters further to the left of the car, the right of the car, probably to the left, and. Uh, that's why is that possible yeah if you yeah when you turn the camera around you can see it on the on the other side too yeah but not as much <clears throat> i'll just see if it's fine in the game knowing that it's not gonna be fine in the game <laughs> but we shall see yeah let's hope for the best it's not gonna be fine <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stay positive yay Everything's always working, so of course I'd stay positive. Okay, uh, what do we have left? We have plates and wheels. Oh, where's the 
first the blade here, blade F, and then... I should have had two folders for this, but oh well. Uh, no, it's, it's not this, it's... License plate. Also, how do you think, how convincing do you think this looks? That is actually... Okay, it's mirrored right now, it's not really... <laughs> okay. Well, you mean just a uh, just a window or no like or, uh, the uh, the text on there? How close uh, it probably it takes a moment to uh... ah now I can see it. It's decent quality, decent resolution. I did just take the high resolution one from the files and just put it on there, and it looks really close to how it is. I yeah, I think that's pretty good. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, I already did it for the last car, so I just took another text and then just matched the size, and I think it looks convincing if you don't know that it's fake. <laughs> <laughs> Where is it? There. Why does it look blurry? What is it doing to it? It's, it's gonna be fine in the game. I, I'll say this all the time, but it, it actually is fine in the game. <laughs> Uh, four more models, and then we can finally get to adding it to the game. Oh god, did I just replace it with nothing? Okay, no, I did not. Uh, and then wheels, which are four models, one for the left, one for the right, and then the, uh, the damage model. When uh, there's only the, r the room. Uh, what is it? Wheel left. What texture did I use for that? Probably the one that's called Wheel. Yay. Is this two textures? Nah, no way. Uh, yeah. And that here is just the rim without the wheel. Which is going to use when you shoot the tire. Doesn't just replace the texture or the model the when model, you yeah. shoot the tire? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's what it's... Uh, when you see model swap somewhere, that's what it does. Ah. Makes sense. It's funny, in the regular game there are the front left and rear left. And front right and rear right tire. This they're all different models. So you have four models for the regular tires, and then four for the uh, destroyer tires. Do they look different? Uh, not that I ever saw a car that has that. But I guess that's what they were going for. Or maybe it was just easier for them to do it like this. I don't know. Maybe it's like a template. Like for some cars, they just uh, replace some of the tires so they look different for each position. And then from some cars, they look the same, but they can still use the same template. Maybe. Something like that, I don't know. Okay, last one. I'm just making a visual for the Just Cause 3 gameplay loop hmm? in the meantime. I'm just making a visual for the Just Cause 3 gameplay loop in the meantime. A fishing? What, what are you fishing? A visual. Visual. An image. Uh -huh. Oh, visual. Oh, okay. Visual. Okay. Yeah. No, it's not a I fish. can't speak, I guess. Same. A fish. I'm, I'm making a fish. Fair. Okay, finally done with this. Now let's do that. 
Okay, we have all our models, so let's just take those. And add them to our car archive, which is in here. Uh, wait, let's just add them here because I need a separate folder with this name. <clears throat> I swear, why are there so many flies on my monitor recently? I didn't know why. Yeah, flies always like monitors. I don't know why. They always uh, are attracted to the light. I don't know either. And then we need a textures folder for... Guess what? All the textures. Maybe you should just um, turn on a lamp on the in the other side of your of the room. A really <laughs> bright lamp. So they all go there because it's brighter. <laughs> I don't know if that works, but maybe. You can just attract them. Uh, what was I going to do? Oh, yeah. Steal the this, uh, transparent texture from this car. That I made last time. <clears throat> Why did you put it here? Uh, textures. Where is the windows? It should be that. I guess. Uh, that and that. Hey, is it just window? Yeah, I think it's just window. Yeah, window. Okay. Okay, no, but of course, this is not it. We can't just put it in here. We also have to add it to the... Um, file list. Because only if it's in here, then it's actually gonna use it. Uh, then it's actually gonna repack it into the file. And... Uh, what did I just close that? So, uh, first let's add the textures, and I always like to add them pretty much at the top of the file. Let's uh, close all the other stuff, close all to the left. Our, our path is textures, and then the name. We also need to do this on the other side. Uh, for the for the people watching, you can see this is a, a path, and then the other one with the backslashes is also the same path. But up here, it's we have the one on the left with the forward slashes, and then on the right we have this size stuff here. That means that the pa that this file was patched, and that there is an external file at this path. But it's out. But it's using the one that's outside of the archive, so it's it, it ignores the one that's inside. It's using the one that's outside, and that is what that is for. But I just put everything into the file, so I use the full paths here. Uh -huh. that. Let's just duplicate that a bunch of time. So I can just copy over the... Why is it called copy? Don't tell me. Okay, the... Okay, I, I never mind. It's fine, it's fine. <laughs> we need to add all the textures in here, and then we need to do the same for the models. But luckily, this doesn't take very long. Because in the if you saw the tutorial that I made on model editing, I use LOD files, so I had uh, five of each model. But since I discovered that you can just completely skip LOD files and just link to the model directly, of course that means that it doesn't have LODs, so it's always going to use the maximum quality one. But in multiplayer I don't really care, so yeah, it's whatever. And yeah, we also need to keep these two files in sync, because if we don't, then the modding tools are going to be very unhappy. And then let's add our models at the very top of where the models are. 
So let's go into the folder they call slant and then our folder here. And this and that. And then let's duplicate that a bunch of times. So we can just do that. We should do where it's like a stream where it's like you do this, but I explain it to you as you go. I think that would be really funny. Oh, uh, m maybe. <laughs> Need to think about it. Oh, yeah, sure. I mean, if you don't want, it's fine. I mean, it was just a really funny idea. Yeah, I know, it might be funny. But that probably takes just a bit of prep work for me. Uh, almost done with models. Yeah, because I've I've never done this. So I I just or maybe I just shouldn't prepare, I just download all the programs and then you're like just click this. <laughs> click that. But th but then at some point you are basically modding and I'm just your third hand or something. <laughs> so uh, this one is still put so removed. Maybe we should go halfway. Huh? So maybe what? Like maybe maybe we should go halfway that I try to make something and you are helping me. Ah. Instead of you doing all the work. Okay, and then let's add another thing. Basically, just this folder with two files on it. What I always like to do is, is I have this file called fuckoff.rbm. That is just an empty model that I use to replace files. So, for example, if I don't need a model, I just replace it. I'm going to just make it use this. I could just make it go like, okay, just use this file that doesn't exist. But some vehicles are assholes and by some vehicles i mean planes because for example i mean the only the only time that i really noticed this was uh the propeller plane if you replace the engine model that has the propeller attached with a model that doesn't exist then it will <laughs> crash as soon as you start the engine nice yeah, so that's I just make it use a model that's just really small. And then the other file, I just put the credits to whoever made this model. Is this correct? Yeah, that is correct. Okay, um, yeah. And then, of course, I also gotta add those. Uh -huh. And another reason why I have uh, a model in there is so that, because in some cases, the I think it's only for custom models that do this, but sometimes the first model that loads just doesn't have any texture. So if I load my empty model first, and it's going to do it to that, then, like, who cares? Like, no, no one is going to see that anyways. Hmm. That's weird, though. Mm -hmm. I don't know why it happens, it but does. it just does. Strange. Mysterious. Indeed. And now, if I copy this over to the other file list and repack, it should not complain and just let me do it. Please work. Hey, first try. Nice. <laughs> and now, if we open this in the archive viewer, close all that. Where is it? It's there. Now we can go. Here's our all of our texture stuff. And if we go into the models, we where is it here? And we open our models. We can see that. For some reason, there is no body texture, but I would assume that all the other stuff works. Nope, of course not. Why do you? Why not? Why? Why do you not use the body texture? Why are you like this? 
Did I name it the wrong thing? Vehicles, land, body. Is it not faultless? What was it called? Oh, I didn't add the div. Okay, okay, makes sense, makes sense, makes sense. <laughs> if I don't name it correctly, then of course it doesn't work. Makes sense. So let's just repack that again. Close that so it doesn't cache it, and then if we open that now. Now all the names should be correct, and yep, there we go. Now it's Shrek Green again, and we can do all of the models, plate, uh, wheel, yeah, those are just going to be in the middle, that's not really funny, but yeah, it is here now. I'm still concerned about this, we're going to see in the game how it looks, and yeah. It might not actually... I don't actually know if it's going to clip because it's like semi-transparent. So we're going to see how that looks. You mean the, the back window? Uh, this uh, window, I mean light. Yeah. It's going to look Actually, like yes. this in the game too. If it's, if it's like inside of another model. But it's going to be semi-transparent. Let's hope it isn't. Yeah, it's going to be semi-transparent. So we're going to see how that looks. Does this actually use? Wait, uh, mirror, door, this, <laughs> yeah, this uses the texture you can see. You can barely see it. It's ever so slightly brighter than the empty box <laughs> to the right. Mm. Yeah, can that's this, really hard to see. Can, can this fly get off my monitor? Thanks. Okay, what now? Of course, we're still not done. Now we'll just edit them. So... If you watch my modding tutorial, you're gonna know that we now have to edit the uh, vehicle parts file, which actually links to the models. Where is my file? Why does it put it at the bottom? What did I do? Or was it Windows Update because they changed the file explorer? Oh well, we'll. Whatever. Okay. Oh, I can't do close others. That sucks. Okay. We have here a bunch of gibberish that no one cares about. The actual start of what I care about is this. Not this part. This part does nothing. This part. This, this part is actually just, I can show you this. But it's hatched. Let me open the tool. Where is hashtag two? We put this in here and then convert it. You're not going to be able to see it because it's on the second screen. But we get this. This is what we get. And then when we look for that, oh, look, it's this. What a surprise. Whoa. Whoa. So now we got to replace this. Which is this with this, because this is our body model, and we want to put this here. So let's hash for that and convert it. And then we go here. What was it? Floating point number or integer? I keep confusing them. And it was the other one, okay. And now it's changed. Because we can't properly edit this file. GigaChat actually said he managed to edit it as uh as like uh as a as an XML, but I'm just not gonna risk it now because I don't wanna risk crashes and stuff. So yeah, we can try that next time. Hey, you haven't tried that before? Uh I have, but then it crashed, so I just never tried it again. But he said hmm. it just works, so I'll try okay. that off, uh, off camera later. Well, not later, but like tomorrow probably. 
Okay, but next model is door FL. So the wait, this car doesn't have rear doors. Why is it called front left? Oh well. Let's put our left door here. And this is... Why are you complaining? I'm sorry. I shouldn't complain. I, I meant Windows, not you. Oh. It did the, the little sound for no reason. It's, take, it's taking so long. <laughs> so, front right door. So let's put our right Also, I, I am complaining, but it's in textual format. Well, you're not complaining to me, so... Yeah, exactly, that's so that's fine. There's not much to show here, but this isn't going to take horribly wrong. And here we have one that I was talking about. This one is the engine, but we don't really have an engine because it's part of the body model. So let's just replace it with our fuck off model. It's a great name. <laughs> Thanks. So. Also, the only thing I'm doing in the second window is just converting it from hex to decimal because it gives you hex hashes, but you need decimal ones. And for this ones, you always want to use the top one, not the bottom one, like you do when you replace stuff in the EPE. You always use the top one. Hmm. And replace that with the fuck off model. And uh, what is next? Next is seats. Seats are part of the body model, so let's replace those with the fuck off model and move on. Another seat. Replace that. Rear bumper. Our car does not have a detachable bumper, so let's remove that. Steering wheel. Also, that is separate as well. That's not part of the interior, but it is in our model, so replace that. Tail light. Our lights are part of the body, so let's get rid of that as well. The only reason that's in here because is it can break, but I am not. I don't have the patience to make breakable lights. So yeah, we're just gonna ignore that. And if it's anything like the structures, if you add more breakable parts to an object, mm -hmm. they might uh, might kind of struggle to keep the physics consistent. So like with the bridge parts, if you connect too many bridge parts uh, to the same uh, overall model, mm -hmm. at some point they start breaking down. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if the same is true for uh, vehicles, but I suspect it is because it just costs four where you have like one of the cranes with many movable parts. Mm -hmm. If something starts glitching out, the rest of the model kind of starts to glitch out as well. I don't think it's that so bad it might... just cost three, so if you add a lot, maybe it will start to break, but... Yeah, I think yeah. at some point, probably just lights is fine, but I think if you add too much, it might actually become a problem. Also, this wouldn't be adding things. I would like... It is already part of the car to have breakable lights. I just choose not to use it. Because it takes mm, a lot yeah. of effort. Also, here we yeah, have... that's true. Like the, the main game mm. uh, lights, also the main game lights can also be broken, right? Yes. From the normal vehicles. Mm. Yeah, that's what this is for. Mm. And here we have our first wheel. This is the rear left wheel, but we only have left and right, so we'll use our left wheel for that. And then the this is what it is the uh, the mesh swap here. This is the destruction model that it's gonna put on. So that is this. Uh, okay, what is next? Probably, let me guess. The left wheel. Did I accidentally put the left? Oh yeah, rear left. I was yeah, never mind, never mind. It's fine. Then it's the right wheel, oh, what a surprise. Uh
I wish I could show more here, but like this is really all there is to it, so yeah. Yeah, most of modding happens in text format, mm. which is kind of boring, but what can you do? Mm. It would be really nice if you could mod while being in game. In game? So you could see. Oh, like yeah, just refresh yeah, it. It. Oh, hi. Is yeah. That... Someone joined? Who is that? Oh, someone joined in, in I Discord, I guess. I don't know who hi. That is. Hello, Hi. Pump. Hello. Okay. What's happening? Yeah, yeah. let's let's move to a star PC. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll see you in a sec. But it looks like you're in another voice channel. Are you sure you want to switch? Yes, that's what I clicked. I right. <laughs> What was that? So some some kids just hanging out and doing I don't know. <laughs> chilling. Uh, oh, yeah, it's... just with us. Of course, we have the uh, rear left wheel, then we have the rear right wheel, and then it doesn't continue with wheels. No, now we're at the windshield. Ah, but once again, we have the windshield. Part. <laughs> the, the sorting never makes any sense. Yeah. Anyways, we don't need a windshield because it's part of the body model. <clears throat> and window RL. We don't need that either. It's all part of the body model. Window rear right, also don't have that. Window front left, that's the door window, I think. Yeah, door. Door window. But we don't have breakable door window, so yoink. Goodbye. Ah, left mirror. We have that. So let's... Uh, mirror left. Oh my god. 420. Look at that. The funny number. Whoa. I can't see it yet, but... Sure. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is that? Door FR window? We don't have a front right door. At least not a Whoa, front 420. door window. <laughs> Uh, goodbye window. Uh, sports muscle right mirror, of course. Once again, not in order. Because why would it be? Let me guess now it's gonna continue with uh, wheels. Nope, on the fender. We don't have detachable fenders. Because that's really hard to do. At least to make it look good underneath. Front bumper don't have the detachable bumper. Sports muscle grill, grill is part of the body. Hood, we have a hood, wow, we have that, Hugo. What do we have? A hood. Whoa, I always want the hood. <laughs> the I felt like something was missing. Was miss yeah, I felt like something was missing in my life. <laughs> I guess it, 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 I guess it was the hood. Hood signature. That's the DLC one. Why is this in here? Oh well. Goodbye. Wheel. Wow, here's the wheels. This is front left. So where is our wheel L? Uh, going and then the swap. Where is it? There. <clears throat> and after this, we'll actually be able to go into the game so you can actually. It's actually a little less boring then. Uh, we'll for one minute, until you figure out what's wrong, and then you need to restart the game and do it, do it all over again. Nah, that's not. What do we need to but do? Imagine, hmm? Hmm? But imagine if you could uh, start the game, and then you can open up a panel in game, and select like an object and edit it in real time and see all the changes and everything. That would be so so cool. 
the, so so much easier. The beta has a refresh drop zone feature, but I don't know how powerful that is. I should try oh, that. that. Would, it would be a start. If the if the DLC two EXEs have that, maybe I'll I'll try that because that that can use final game files. Um, plate rear. We have a plate. Why is my caps lock on again? I swear to God, the last few months I just keep pressing caps lock like randomly, and then I notice it when I enter text. It's not like I got hmm. a new keyboard or anything. No, I. I have I have had this for like the last two years, but like. Oh, that's strange. Why only now? Signal. We don't. For, for me, it always happens when I play Just Cause Three because when you do the the quick turnaround with the Bavarian wingsuit. You need to press control and shift at the same time, and I often press caps lock as well, kind of by accident. Oh. And then I start typing, and it's like, oh, it's capitals. Yeah. But other, other than that, I never really press it on accident. Hmm. Signal, we don't have flight. Get out of your life. I don't want to do you all separately. What if I've shrunk window? No, those are all part of the sea mirror also this the the rear view mirror that's also a uh, its own thing and why is it what the hell damage type boat antenna makes sense did I, did I just do this yeah I did because what else would it be if not a boat antenna headlight goodbye Headlight again. Imagine I would actually do these all like by themselves. I would want to not live. If I did all Understandable. That. Don't do that. Yeah. Ah, headlight. Like look how many there are. It's like easily half of the stuff. Like you don't realize how many lights there are. <laughs> Plate. Fate. Ah, uh, never mind. Plate, we have plate. Plate F. Uh, that. And then we should almost be done now. Missile base, look at that. It, all, it has the DLC stuff in here. Why? That makes no sense. Huh. I, I guess they made the, the most complicated vehicle first and then just kind of copied Maybe. it to other vehicles and changed it and removed some other stuff. Oh yeah, look, we're done. Let's go. Nice. And now when we unpack... We can close that now. Of course, maybe I should save it first. And then before you repack, close the hex editor because it will complain if you have it open in the hex editor. I just see that Steam chat and someone sent me never gonna give you up. So, uh. Get styled. Yeah, that's, I, saw, um, I saw it in the preview. That, that's a fair message to send. <laughs> why, why am I scrolling yeah. down? And now you can just see all that has changed. So, uh. We should be good to load into the game now. Let's go! <clears throat> uh, where is it? Where's all of that? Boy. And let's start. <clears throat> Do I have the correct Just Cause 3 multiplayer installed? Okay, yeah, I do. <laughs> okay, what's left to do? We gotta potentially move the headlights 
so they don't clip into the car because I think this is longer than the car it's based on, than wheels and some effects. <coughs> yeah. But the effects and wheels are gonna be really annoying because they have to restart every time. But maybe if it takes too long I will do it uh, off screen because it's not really... Yeah, it might become quite boring mm. on the stream. Yeah, just restarting 50 times to move a wheel by yeah. 5 <laughs> millimeters. Basically oh. standard modding. Yeah. Oh, now I can use the, the in-game music. Let's go. Yeah. <clears throat> and if everything went correct, then I can now spawn this car and it will look okay. Let's go. You can see the uh... okay, it doesn't look okay, but. You can see the wheels aren't where they should be. The it it wheel looks wheels? fine on. Huh? Like, did, why are the wheels so different from in the Vanderbilt? In the what? Like before, the wheels seemed to line up fine, and now they are really. Yeah, upset because the ones. That's what I said. The ones that were in there in Blender. I'll just for show, so I know how they look in the game. The ones that were under <laughs> the car were the real wheels. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a farther control for they are. But that I think the yeah the, the front wheels are further offset or are less offset than the back wheels for some reason. Mm. Okay, but now let's let's make it. Let's remove the rain. Uh, The... Also, look, it looks fine in game. It doesn't clip. You mean the, the backlights? Yeah. Hmm. No, wait, they clip here because it was mirrored. I'm stupid. <laughs> okay, but you can see we have car windows. But these, the ones on the headlight don't are transparent for some reason. And I don't know why. We will find that out soon. I was gonna look for some. Oh yeah, I was gonna show you the windows. Look. They're actually really good. Let me get in. Also I gotta do something about how the car just looks like one big green blob. That's yeah, it's a bit too green perhaps. But I think it's a good uh, good start. Huh? I think it's a good start. Mm. Also, yeah, you can Those see things. that looks kind of good. That looks really good. Oh yeah, you mean the yeah the rear window, yeah, mm. the mirror. Uh, same for this one. Yeah, that, that's really good. Yeah. Mm. It even reflects things. Mm? I didn't know it did that. What? The in the in the rear mirror, there's there's a reflection. Yeah, I added that. <laughs> oh, that's why oh, it's a course. separate it's thing. Not... Yeah, yeah. Hmm. We can go nice. over to uh, the car I stole the interior from and see how it's there. It's not as aggressive there. Oh no! Oh, no. Hello, camera. Thank you. Don't do that. It's no, I don't I like how there's navigation. Yeah, <laughs> it's a navigation system and it doesn't line up with the area at all. Yeah, of course not. I mean, that would be. Or maybe you can replace it with a map of Medici. <laughs> That's a good idea, yeah. But yeah, you can... I mean, it doesn't have to work with just a general map. Hmm. You can see the this one doesn't work at all because it's just a texture, and then I think mm -hmm. these. These work, but not as well. Like you can see, it's 
supposed to be a reflection. I don't think it does it reflect at all. A bit, yeah, but like not a whole lot. Minor yeah, better. <laughs> yeah, that's just barely any. <laughs> also, uh, do the lights glow in the dark? They do. Mm. Hmm. This is supposed to be transparent, so you would see it through that. I don't know why it doesn't. Luke, do you want to give sync the password to the lab server? Uh, two W's. It's just WW, like, like this. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't know if you wanted to uh, grant them access. Yeah, that's that's fine. Also, you can see the front lights; they work fine. Yeah, but... I really like that. I saw it a moment ago during daytime, but at night it's really cool. Uh, and this is green because uh, this is on the wrong model, so I have to report it anyways. But I don't think, I think why... the green is kind of. Hmm? I think the green is kind of neat. It's not supposed to be like that, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just keep it. <laughs> But you can see the bottom one, that actually looks really good. But I don't get why the light caps. Did I not make those transparent? Okay, wait, what, what do I have to fix? I have to fix... <laughs> yeah, make a list. <laughs> yes. It really looks bad in just one color. Maybe I have to make it white or something so it looks a bit, be uh, a bit better. Because for some reason, it's always white cars that look good because uh, the one that Giga Chad made, the the Apollo, that one, black always doesn't look too good because we have no reflections. But this one actually, this isn't too dark, so I think this one actually looks really good. But once we get uh. Can you get the white one? Yeah, look. That just looks a million times better. Yeah, the, the black one really absorbs all the light, so it's kind of hard to see anything. Mm, any, any, depth on the, any depth on the surface. It's the same with all the black cars. Like, if we had reflections, it would look infinitely better. Yeah, it's, it kind of happens with all the cars. So maybe I have to make I think it. On the so huh? Yeah, on the side you can kind of see the the shape of the the white, but with the other cards it's really hard to see. Hmm. Yeah, this one looks really great in white. Which one? The 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 only white car that's on screen. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need to deal with the delay. So. Oh yeah, so sorry. I, to, uh... I, I keep forgetting. <laughs> <laughs> Also, I like how detailed the grill is. It looks so good. Also, I'm good. I'm gonna praise this car even. Oh yeah, I'm that is really good. Praise this cars even more because the Bugatti one. Look at the rear light, the way it's shaped and when it's dark. It looks so good, like genuinely. Jesus. Mm. Can you make it uh, nighttime? I just did. Oh okay. <laughs> and when you, when you get a little closer. I mean, this is a really detailed model, so... But the way he made it look, really good. Oh yeah, that, that's amazing. I like that. I didn't I didn't see that one yet, so, but that's that's really good. There is a car model, wait, let me see if I can find it again. From the same guy that made uh, that the whole model. Wait, where is... Okay, so we can uh, search, or oh, I can... Uh, Where is it? Am I blind? Yes. Understandable. Oh, uh, I just searched for the one thing I'm... Ah. <clears throat> this is the model that I downloaded. It didn't come with any textures, so that's why my real lights don't look as good as his. And it didn't come with wheels either. But if you... This. Look at this. This concept car, look at the real lights. These would look amazing in the game. 
and the front lights as well. Like, this is genuinely crazy. Hmm. Yeah, how it goes around, that might be really nice to see, because then it shines in both. Hmm. Oh, you mean the second one? Oh, with all the lines, yeah. Yeah. There's, there's like the, the previous Bugatti, but then... <laughs> on steroids. Like double. Yeah, on steroids, and this one, exactly. Wheels all the front lights as well. Wheels included. So... <laughs> Man, this car, this car is so edgy in many ways. <laughs> but I think in the game it would look really cool. Mm. Uh, now what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, a uh, screen. Let's first... Yeah, I'll, lower, I'll lower my sounds, just in case. Uh, don't worry. Yeah. Okay, first off, let's see. Why does this flip into the model. It did not in Blender, I swear. Maybe it did, maybe I moved it. Oh, maybe, yeah. What, what exactly? Uh, this. This is the little cover for the light. It clips into the side. It doesn't on the other side. So, let's fix that. Hmm. Uh, this is... This isn't gonna take long. If I could hit the right button. Uh, I, I probably did this. Move it the wrong way. Now it's lagging because it's trying to get all the textures. Uh... It's hard to see because it does use the same texture. <laughs> yeah, it is just in there. So let's move that a little. So it does not clip in there anymore. Just ever so slightly so it's on top. I think now it's on top. It might not be. I might be wrong. If you can't tell, I'm not. I'm not amazing at Blender, but I'm trying my best. <laughs> now it's on top. Maybe it's not. Okay, now it is. But that is too far. Yeah, now it's on top. And, uh, but it's still on the other side. It should be. Yeah, it is. Okay, so let's get rid of everything but this. Export that. Uh, parts to scale. Light caps. Remove normals and materials. And then I gotta reimport the body model. And I can also try to make it white. That is also something we can try. Are you still there? Yes. Oh, you were just really silent, sorry. I, I was concentrating. Fair. On trying to make a visual representation of the gameplay loop in Just Cause 4. Which oh. is barely there, which makes it really hard for me to do. Um, uh, it, uh, I can't even make a dumb joke. <laughs> oh yeah, I want to make this white. Try, try to make a smartphone. Uh, jungle, grasslands, desert, Whoa. desert, uh, the snow. That's it. Snow? Okay, it's it's not not the best joke ever written. No, like that's. Uh, oh, the, all, all the, the gameplay loop. All the gameplay, yeah. That's what I meant to say with that. Yeah, I'm like, oh, garland stunts. What Yay. do you do? Why do you do garland stunts? Well, they give you grapple upgrades, but you don't use grapple upgrades during region strikes because they don't need them. So you kind of use them for Hafi tombs, I guess. So I draw an arrow between garland and Hafi, and that's pretty much all the connection that these two gameplay systems have mm. 
Yeah, it's tricky. Let's make it wide and see how that looks. Boy. Why did I drag on the DDS? That was not how you do it. Boom. Put that in the car archive. And then do. You just joined and these cars look better than this stuff I've seen before. No weird uh, spots or whatever. Yep, the spots are gone. That is uh, one of the things that Giga Chat found out. That is why I didn't include the... Uh, oh, what was it? The mesh normals earlier. Because that is what caused the weird shading. So yeah, let's hope when I make it white that it doesn't look like one big blob anymore. Oh yeah, also, I forgot another thing that I wanted to do. Because... You can see... Why there was this green outline. Get rid of that. Because this is actually part of the light. But we don't want that to be part of the light because the light is a little bit illuminated. And we don't want this to be illuminated, so... Let's just quickly... Make this part of the body. Also, you gotta send me your thing later, how you're gonna visualize that, because I'm really curious about that. Well, it's, it's not like visually stunning, but mm -hmm. it's more of about making things clear. But uh, I'll send it, yeah, sure. Nice. I'll send you the Just Cause 3 one. That one is pretty easy because it's really... Because uh, it's just got it's really, yeah, and it works. It just works. It just works, yeah. And there you go. You can have nice. a look if you want. I don't mind. Um, this, and then make that part of the body. So now it's not gonna look weird. But I forgot one little guy here. Hello. You are not textured. Why are you not textured? Uh, and here you can see my abysmal uh, texture work because I can't actually texture. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying my best. Oh, well. Huh? You didn't see anything. Okay, light, that is now. Export that without materials and normals. That was light's front mirror. And I also edited the body. Pass <coughs> uh, the scale. Body, alright. What is this? Oh, that is still green. Yeah, that makes sense. That does make sense. So let's fix that. <clears throat> All right, so that's a little better. Now it's actually gonna... Yes. Stop complaining, Windows. Okay, let's remake the body model now. Okay, I think I have a decent visual now. Uh... Wait. Collectibles Liberation. A vehicle shopping challenges, mission separation. Oh, yeah, you're looking, okay. Let, let, let me explain. Like the white one is the core game. Oh, yeah, look, let me drag it. Yeah. On. Okay. So the, the white one, the white loop is the core gameplay loop. So you do a mission, the mission leads you to any area. So you liberate all the places there. It unlocks challenges. You do the challenges because uh, you want to test all your new stuff. And then when you're bored, the new mission is nearby and you step into that. Hmm. And then you can have also side content, which is the blue, 
You can do vehicle chopping. That gives you vehicles to use in challenges. So that's useful for that. Uh, vehicle chopping also gives you vehicles that are useful for liberation. And there's also collectibles, which give you useful uh, weapons that leads. Uh, those are useful for liberation. And you get lore. So basically every activity that you do is of use for another activity. It kind of leads into each other naturally. Hmm. And here is Just Cause 4, which is not really a loop. That's <laughs> so Garland. Region strikes so re mission. You, you need to do region strikes to do missions. And if you do missions, you can go to new region strikes. Also, you might notice um, there's like arrows that are continuous and there's arrows that are interrupted. Mm -hmm. the, the more interrupted they are, the weaker the link is. So if you've done a mission, <clears throat> you don't really have an incentive to do a region strike because there's nothing really pushing you to do so. It's, it's really far away and you can basically go anywhere. So it's a, the, the, main, the main loop in white in Just Cause 4 is already really weak. And then the side content, well, the only purpose of Garland is to unlock mods to use for Yahavi tombs. I like how there's and no uh, lore. There's no loop. It just there's ends no, at Havi. There's no lore here either. I like that. <laughs> uh, well, all the, all the lore is at Havi itself. Okay, it's that's really... fair, yeah. That is fair. Yeah, but that's about it. <laughs> It's not yeah. really a loop. That is it, yeah. So, like, uh, you do garlic stunts, and then you can do the Havi tombs. Mm -hmm. And when you've done the Havi tombs, there's nothing you unlock that kind of incentivizes you to interact with anything else in the game. Yeah. It's not like, oh, I unlock a retracted tool. Let's use it in a mission, because missions are not designed to use retracted tools. There is one... Um... Of those, of the oh, um, stunts, let, let me let me clar let me clarify. There's the basic retractor, and that's <clears> powerful <throat> enough to do anything necessary. You don't need to up the upgraded hmm. uh, retractor tools. So yeah, good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Uh, ladies. I might do one for Just Cause 2, but I don't know the game well enough to really explain it, I think. So we should play I don't together think I'll do stream. that. Yeah, but my, my script is basically done and I'm not going to change it to add oh, more no, stuff I from mean, Just Cause 2. I need to just like, so we can play together, that's like not for... Oh yeah, we, we can still do that, of course. Hmm. Oh, uh, what was it? Interior, light caps, lights. Give those. What was it like? One eleven, I think it was. Uh, emissive. Because if you do, if you make them too bright, it doesn't look good either. So yeah. Hmm. You saw the lights. Yep. And uh, that there, make that a little bit emissive because, yes, that reflects all the light. That is the one with the gray textures. What am I still missing now? I'm missing lights. Seed mounts, seeds. Okay, yeah, I'm missing a bunch of things. Uh, seeds. Oh, no, that's the seed mounts. By the way, did you say you wanted to buy a, a new uh, hard drive or whatever? Did I? There, when we uh, we we talked about it a while ago. Oh yeah, I, I'm. I was like, yeah, uh, can you use the to expand it, huh? Perhaps, perhaps to expand it to get a bit, bit more storage. Did you also? But you I don't. Yes. No, I didn't. Okay. Maybe I will at some point, but it's <clears> not. <throat> I don't need it that much. Okay. Oh, like I right now, I have about four hundred gigabytes spare, mm -hmm. and I can relocate some stuff if I need to. And I also have like a. Uh, one gigabyte 
drive on the side, external drive, so I can also put some stuff on there that I don't need, by the way. Hmm. All right, let's... That's all right, but maybe at some point. Let's see if I did everything correctly now. So is it done exporting? No, it's not. Now it is. Let's... Boing. Boing. Alright, now it should be good. I say should, but I'm actually somewhat confident that I didn't forget anything this time. <laughs> uh, put that in here. Repack. Come on, yep. Okay. Why is my stream preview always so far behind? I don't know, it's fine. <clears throat> yeah, for me it's saying li live, but I feel like I'm about 15 seconds behind. Hmm. There's this cut just cause the amphibious car I was looking at, apparently. Cut content, it would be so cool to see a mod for it. I think I know what you mean, let me find it real quick. There's another one? There? Yes, but this one wasn't actually in the game, I think. Let me find it. No, not that. Oh my god, the wiki has actually actually so much. Wait, let me. Where's vehicles? Vehicles, 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 vehicles. Here! The... The amphibious sports car concept, this one. I think this one is what they were talking about. But this I'll one check isn't... it out in 15 seconds. <laughs> but this one isn't actually in the game. But I have been thinking to maybe commission someone to make this so I can put it into the game. So I can make a model for it. So I think that is I will do that eventually. So yeah, it will become real sooner Neat. or later. Also, oh, that one. I'm just noticing it has three seats. It's the one in the back in the middle. I can't tell from this perspective. Huh. I guess so. But the, the one in the back is offset, I think. Mm -hmm. It's like on the, on the right side. Did they forget one seat? Mm, maybe. Wait, this, is, this cave is not in the game. This is literally... This looks like the one uh, with Mario. Just without anything in it. I'll check it out in 15 seconds. <laughs> Again. Also, a question for you. You know, in Just Cause 3, when you destroy one of the raider bases and you look uh, at it from a distance, you see, like, the smoking ruins. And the same goes for, like, the, the Sandcom Towers. Where you destroy them, you can really see the destroyed model from a distance. Mm -hmm. Do you know any other instances where something big happens either in missions or in free roam and you can kind of look at it from distance and see the destruction that you caused you mean the the, the centcom towers yeah for for instance but something similar do you know any other of those is this a test <laughs> no 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 it's it's not a test it's just... oh i thought you were gonna say like <laughs> oh i found something that's really obvious no, 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 I want to know if you can think of any more of those cases. Uh, the the Centcom Towers, but yeah, not really about anything else. Yeah, yeah, I know about the Centcom Towers and the, and the Raider Bases. Also, now it works the way it's supposed to. Now oh, I think lights. I missed. Well, let's Hang on, I need to rewind. I wasn't looking. Cave, cave, cave. Oh, that cave. It yeah, I think that's... Yeah, that, that, that's the Mario cave, for sure. Also, now we have the lights. But it still doesn't look amazing. It looks better in white. But it needs some shading, but... 
Hmm. It's not too bad. For example, it'll look, look like this. You can see the humps in the back, but like this, you can't at all. It needs some work. Yeah, I, I'll look into it eventually. <laughs> because this doesn't look amazing. Also, I, I haven't shown off the, the stats at all. And basically, it handles closely to... Uh, why is the front window not transparent? I swear to God. Anyways, it handles a little like uh, a serpent with a more powerful engine, so it goes really hard. It goes 300. Ooh, that's pretty fast. Like top speed or? No, top speed is. Uh... Like... It's uh, with Nitros. Okay, yeah, because there's top speed and there's top speed. Like, there's top speed that you can reach pretty pretty easily. Let's go with and there's top speed. Mm -hmm. And there's top speed that you can reach if you drive on train tracks for 10 kilometers and slowly build up speed. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. the <laughs> Leon, it can reach. Okay, nice. And then let's do with Nitros. Running out of runway. 322, <laughs> we reached 322. That's really fast. Probably close to the Fistosa then. Mm. Also, uh, destructible parts work. Break off door, let's go. There we go. Also, uh, wheels. Boom. That works. So. Wait, how did you do the destruction thing? What? Oh, did you use uh, numpad keys to kind of crash it into the ground? Oh, yeah, I was uh, minus and then nine to like. Uh, yeah, okay, it. I thought so. Yeah. Wait, do I still have. I still have it open. Let's go. So now I gotta find out what. What are the windows? Because I didn't make them transparent. For those new in the chat, Luke is trying to create a new car. As it says in the description, the HSV Malou car, I guess. Hmm. I don't really know the car, but he's trying to import it into the game and he's um, placing models in the right places and attaching the right textures, hmm. all that good stuff. So now he's just testing the, the car in the game and see if it's all works correct. And I found something that doesn't. It's the windows because I forgot to make them transparent. And now I'm looking which of these models. Wait, I can just look which one has a transparent texture. I'm actually so smart. <laughs> it's this. No, this is a different window. Where are the body windows? Oh, is it actually the last model? It's the last model, of course, the last thing I check. It always is. Enable alpha blending, there we go. We... It, it always is, unless you check it from the, from like in the reverse order, then it's always also the last. Uh, why are the wheels in the wrong place? Because I, I have to choose a car that this is based on. So before I imported it, I didn't move the wheel. There is a file responsible for wheels. So I gotta move them myself. Now that the model is actually in the game. So yeah. I just met, I just like half an hour ago. I think we were done. I was just fixing stuff now. Because you can see I forgot to make this window transparent. So let's fix that real quick. I just exported a new model. It is... That.
but I might do the rest another time and then start with the uh, uh leech. plane, yeah. I really want to see that one. <laughs> Wait, can it can it lock on fast enough to to work with the speed of the jet? Uh I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll like see. Uh, when you use the fire leap, sometimes it takes a while to lock on mm. if the earthing works in the first place because well <clears throat> the bug. But when you're really fast, I don't know if it works, but maybe. Mm. But you haven't tried it yet. No, I have put it on the wingsuit before. Oh, to make like a Just Cause 4 style yep. wingsuit? Exactly, and the lock-on worked on that, so... Okay, did you use it with uh, Movement Plus? Uh, I don't think because Movement that... Plus existed at that time. Okay. Hmm. Or with any other wingsuiting mods? Because the thing is, when you use mods, the wingsuit can be just as fast as a plane. Mm -hmm. But with the vanilla wingsuit, it's quite a bit slower, so hmm. that might make a difference. Also, what's really funny, there's a German soccer club that's called HSV. <laughs> <laughs> so that's really funny as well. Because I, I, I looked up HSV logo and then I saw, and then like all of the front row ones were like the, the soccer club one, and I was like, oh yeah. That's a thing too. Let's see. The Hamburger SV. Hmm? The Hamburger SV. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are you from? I'm from Germany, and Hugo is from the Netherlands. So he's a professional at fighting water. Exactly. Okay. And riding bikes. And riding bikes, of course. Onto uh, runways. Yes. Okay, now, yeah. Windows working. Also, we can see. Are the lights? Yeah, the lights. You can see a little bit how the model is illuminated in the front. The light cone is a little bit in the car so we gotta move that to the front and in the back we gotta take care of this <laughs> that looks horrible what i started doing i did this for the oppo manta for example you can see i removed all the lights but the front ones i think this looks really good we're gonna still have the actual light in the front but in the back we have like our custom lights, so we don't need the regular ones. So yeah, that is what I'll be doing to this one as well. Yeah, but I think that for next time, I would say let's start on the pilot ship. I mean, let's just do that because that's not gonna take very long. Also, I see questions in chat. I had a question. I don't know how easy or hard this would be, but it would be. What What would it be hard? Maybe I tried myself. Don't know where to start modding though. What are you talking about? The big Gatling drone to spawn instead of tanks. Or the Eden soldiers instead of normal ones. Yeah, that is fairly easy. There is. Let me turn the music down a little. If you go to the files folder, there is settings, and then you have, what is it called? Spawn combatants, or however you say that. To convert that. And then it sells like, okay, here, this is the Biker Scout, and it's gonna use this file for it. You could replace this, and then it will spawn something else. Of course, the DLC has their own spawn files, but yeah, just swapping enemies, that is not very hard. Would it be possible to replace and have, like, I don't know, the, uh, the Eden Airship AA guns spawn in place of the military base? 
AA guns. I have not tried that because if you spawn that, it explodes. Also, hello GigaChat and welcome. Hello GigaChat. Vehicle weapons, where is it? Standalone? Where is it? This? Eat an airship, Sam. Wait, no, this does work. So this could actually work. Because I think these are their own things, so you could replace them, perhaps. I need to see, I haven't... What did it shoot there? What, what did it shoot there? I'll be back in a few minutes. Alright. And... Okay, it doesn't explode. But yeah, this could be possible, yeah. How is it going with your mod restoration program? I have been, I have recently had a lot of uh, motivation to continue on the server and mods. So I've been kind of putting that to the back, but I will be done with this update by the end of the year. And after that, I will take a break from the server and stuff because of just how much we've, I've done in that. Uh, I can't even talk because of how much work I've put into that recently. And then I will focus on the restoration program and get to and get to all the uh, old mods that don't work anymore and make those work again. Because the thing is, when I have motivation for something, I should definitely use that because once it's gone again, it won't return for some time. So I've just been <laughs> using all of the time I could get to get the server update. But as I said, it will be done by the end of the year, and then I will focus on the restoration again to get all the old mods up and running again. But I would say this is about it for this car for now. I will off-screen look at the textures and hopefully get it to look a little better. And then next time we will finish the car, get the wheels in place, get all of the effects in place, and... What was the last one? Oh yeah, the lights. The lights. Get those working. And then this car is pretty much done. Did you make normal maps for the HSV? Um... If you mean the mesh normals, I disabled those. As you can see, there's no, um... Like, the weird spots are gone. But the body did not come with any textures. But so no, I don't have normal maps for that. But what I was kind of talking about, you can see it's kind of like fading. Everything is fading into each other. There are two bumps on the back, but if you're in the car, you can't really see that. Because it all just looks like one thing, so... I hope I can find a way to make that look better. If not, that would be a real shame. And yes, the Fire Leech Jet. Let me find the post someone made of that because in one of the trailers you could see i think it was rico who was stunting on an on a military jet and it looked like that jet fired a missile that turned into several ones but oh where's the post when i find it i will show you it's so much yeah here this You can see here, at first sight, at least in the trailer, because you can only see this for a few frames. It looks like this jet fired this missile that turned into like uh, a fire leech thing. But it's actually coming from behind the jet, so it's not this jet firing this missile. But it looks like it, so a jet with a fire leech missile, that would be cool as hell. So I'll be making that now. I mean, what? Normal textures, if you want, I can convert diffuse ones into normal ones. Uh, there is no real diffuse texture, it's all just this white. I just crammed all the UV into one small space because... Yes, I'm not great at texturing, so... 
<laughs> that is all I usually do. And normally I can get away with it. I don't know why it doesn't look amazing for this car. For example, let me get an example. This. Imagine with all the spots. But I think it would look okay without it. I did the same there because this too didn't come with any real textures. Maybe it's the spots also that make it look tolerable. So yeah, I don't know. I'll see what I can do. But yeah, I will wait a little for the... A little, I will wait for Hugo for the jet. But we will take this jet... I'm here. Oh, oh, hello. <laughs> Hi. We I will... just came back. <laughs> Let's go. We'll take this jet and we will give it a fire leech. For those that don't know what it what it does, it does. Oh, it doesn't lock on. It does this. Very it cool. would be funny if it's broken now. What? Fire leech, if it doesn't work now. Uh, let's find out. Where's the... Where's the base I was Ah, it does, it does work. Maybe if you spawn some uh, some soldiers, it will lock onto them. It can show how it works. Come on. Or just go to a base. Sure, that works too. That's Probably easier. That's a cop. Yeah, the, that was that's more better. Boing. It's not, it's not locking onto that. Wait, when you grapple, it cancels. Don't do that. But yeah, it's aimable. And now it broke. Fantastic. Anyways. It's just costly multiplayer broke. This is not good. I know. Um so let's make a new folder for it. Uh what do we call it? Finally it's jet. Very original. Then we need a blank military plane. Where is the new there? Air, it is called Fighter Jet. Let's get the military one so it looks like the one in the in the trailer. We need all of these files, the string lookup, EPE, EE, and TLC. Put that into your tools folder. And then let's give it a custom name. Hydro Shed. Let's call it Fire Leech Shed. Yeah. Let's unpack that. Spring lookup and EPE. No, don't copy that. Get rid of the E unpack, you don't need that. Replace the default ones. Delete that. And rename this. Then let's also change that in the... Wait, do we need a custom parts file? I don't think we do. Wait, that depends on if we can find these unused models, if they are still in the... In the file, but I don't think they are. Do you know what I mean? I don't think I've I've seen them. Ah, uh, wait. I will show you the image in a second again. Yeah, but it's just a plane. 
which fires the, the rockets from below, right? It's not like a different plane. You can see here these big tanks. Those aren't there in the final game. So maybe we can find those in the files, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I think... Hmm. Yeah, they are different. You're right. So let's see if what those... What could those be? If those still exist. Maybe... Hmm? Are, are those bombs? Like from the from the Dreyfag? I think they're more like supposed to be like fuel tanks. Hmm. Let's see if we can find them. We have... This. Oh, this is a destruction model. Wing R outer. No, this is... Oh, yeah, also like how it breaks, the texture for this. A lovely... Wing inner, wing, 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 don't care, wheel, window, tail, stabilizer, is it this? Don't think so. Oh, wait, no, stabilizer is the rudder, like the rudder base. Okay, so that's what you actually call that, good to know. Light. Yeah, I think, um, I think it's on the end of the Dreyfag. You think it's that? When I look... Yeah, when I look at pictures of it, it seems like the same thing. Launch rail? No, that's in there. Yeah, and the Thunderhawk doesn't have it, but the Dwayfek does. Gear. L1, what's that? Oh, that's... I think. Lab, door, body swap, air lock on. Can you send me the link to the concept arc? Art? Uh, that's not concept art, that's just Reddit post, but sure, wait. Oh, or to the Reddit post, anyway. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Uh, they then I can compare them. Okay, thanks. Um, Yeah, I don't think they are still in here. So let's move on without a body model, uh, a custom body. Uh, I'm yeah, that's everything. Yeah, that's the same thing. That's on the Dreyfag. Ah, okay. Cert certainly. So it's, yeah, it's basically a Thunderhawk with parts of the Dwayfag on the end. That's cool. But then, but then I believe that even on the, um, it's a bit hard to see on the image, but at the very end, mm -hmm. like on the on the far side of the engine thingy, fuel tank thingy, whatever, mm -hmm. it seems there's another missile, like on the far end of the wing. Oh, yeah. On the, on the side, instead mm. of below it. Yeah, you're right. I, d I don't know what's up with that. Hmm. It's Maybe. really strange yet. Maybe we can add it back. I mean, definitely we can add that back. But yeah. Like, we'll just do some amateur blender action. But you should be able to copy the parts of the Dwayfag over to the Thunderhawk, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's easy. I could just make a little custom model and then... Just add that to the body model. Um, wait, no, I can keep that because so it keeps the regular name. Never mind. Okay, so what I just did, I just cloned this plane. So now we have a Fire Leech jet. So now if we repack that, we now have a, a new vehicle. Put that in here. Now this is just a clone of the regular one, so let's make that actually work. We also need to add it in these settings. We have here spawn aircraft definitions. And what I like to do is just copy, no not the debug one, fighter jet military. Copy this entry for the regular one and then just rename it to ours. Yeah, this. Change this, change this, change this to my folder, and then change this to that. So now this links to our custom file. Not in, it's not in sound, it's not in sound. When we repack that, now it can spawn. Let's quickly check that out. 
so we can see that it doesn't crash the game and then we can get to editing uh, adding the file each which should be also i just realized that no not that no you are here i did not edit that <laughs> It should just be as straightforward as to just add the file each in there, and then the custom parts. But I'm sure the game will find a way to screw with us. It always does. Hmm. But does all the mods you are doing in this Steam going to work in single player. Most of them will. I will release them for single player as well, yeah. The only ones that don't really work in single player are the drones, because I couldn't get... Wait, I will show you in a second. I made the drones controllable, but the door just doesn't want to work. So, in multiplayer you can choose to spawn in a car, but in single player you can't. So you can never enter them in single player. That's why they are not available for that. But everything else I will release for single player. If you check the mod site, I just actually just released uh, the the Nuke C4 mod and the Shrek plane mod. So yeah, I'm s I haven't forgotten about single player. Don't worry. And now if we do this and this, we should get. Why does it not do it? Why not? Why are you like this? I got the file path wrong, didn't I? Surely. No. Oh. No, no, I did not. File is cow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I just didn't save it. Maybe, maybe that would help if I saved it. That is such a moment. Aircraft. And... Boeing. I'm gonna read on Just Cause 3 right now, right now, based. Indeed. Have fun. <laughs> you should make a mod where uh, if you ride a power cow mm. and you manage to fall off, mm. you just die. And we go back close to the ground and he just lays there and then you die. Because he's such a such a terrible driver. <laughs> he has to live with his failure. Oh well I guess die with his failure. <laughs> yes. Actually that's He's could... not allowed to, he's not allowed to live with his failure. Maybe. If I can find the death event, surely that's simple, right? I guess so. Maybe that can be for the more section. If I can find the death event. If you get to it, yeah. Let's hmm. just quickly take I don't know look. if there's a scripted... Is there a scripted death? I guess not. Uh, drop zone, editor, entities, JC... Uh, it's game objects. Death. Death. No, this. Oh, what was the other one? The on hit. That's the damage event. Is there a death? Near death first, camera ref death, death, name hash, is there an event? But no, this is camera, why is it camera? I don't care what camera. Death framing, aiming to death. Is this still camera? Yes, this is still camera. Why is it all camera? I don't care what camera. Flashbacks to the first person mod. Oh god. Yeah. All the all these cameras all these cameras kind of work like a Rubik's Cube. Like <laughs> when you try to fix one thing, all other things would kind of break. <laughs> Why does Just Cause 4 have so few mods? Um the game isn't really well just received. Just... It's not really good. Like it was really disappointing at launch. It's it's also hell to mod. 
so mad, so bad that I made a whole video about it. Go watch it. And give it a like. And subscribe. And ring the notification bell. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> what mods do I have planned for the future? Well, right now I was just going to do the Fire Leech. Wait, here's the mouse. The Fire Leech jet. And then after that, I still have one more custom vehicle for the next server update. But that one's a surprise because someone asked me to make that. And it's based on their car. And they have like custom, uh, they have, they showed me a picture of the car with like, they have like custom rims and a few modifications. And I found those rims. I found a model of those rims. So I can actually make it look like his car. But I don't want to show it because I want it to be a surprise in case he sees this. And now what was I going to do? Yeah. And then I was also going to overhaul three older cars. The uh, Zenvo, the... Oh, what was it called? The the DeLorean and then the another car. What is it called? Spawn menu, please. Yes. It's called the the Lycan Hypersport. Yes, because those are older mods that don't have an interior or like a detachable parts. So I want to overhaul those. And. Then I would say that's enough for the next update. There's already like... 10 new cars? Surprise mod, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, now I should actually be able to... Object. Yay, we have a plane. And now this is just a copy of the regular one. Let's change that. But before you do that, let's make it a proper vehicle on the server. So I can spawn it properly. Just give me a minute. This isn't something you normally have to do. This is just for me in the multiplayer stuff. Just a minute. Elix, uh, Luke and I actually made a mod called Medici. Medici, C, yeah. actually. And uh, we kind of try to mess around with like lakes and water levels and swimming pools. But there's kind of a limit, as in we don't really see any way to remove the ocean or lower the water levels. So we could only raise it by placing like uh, really big lakes on top of it but that's pretty much all we could do we could not remove the water itself so it's a bit of a shame but uh, there are empty lakes so if you want to drive around in dried up lakes you can check out the mod yeah the um the ocean is hard coded sadly so it's not just a lake and we do have uh, an underwater monster truck included in the mod, so you can also drive under the ocean if you want to, but there's still water. I don't think that's on the server. I should add that. Yeah, you should. Uh, close that, close that, close that. We should have a session that's just underwater. I think that will get boring really quickly. You think? Probably. Uh, delete this. Place it with this. Then packages spot. I'm gonna scream. This is the wrong server. Fuck. It's 
fine, it's fine. I'll fix it later. Ah! Actually, let's fix it now. I have the proper file here. <clears throat> okay, now I just add it to the spawn menu and then we can properly spawn it. Spawn menu, client, UI. We have modded, yes, we do have modded planes. Avio. Bavarium missile. VTOL Thunderhawk. It can go after that. Ah, what was the hash? Damn it. And this. And then... Yeah, no, that's correct. Okay. Okay, we can now spawn it properly on the server. Sorry for that little delay. Now we can actually get to the good stuff, and that is adding the Fire Leech. So let's grab the Fire Leech files. Weapons, two-handed. Is it called Fire Leech? Yes, of course. Get those. Put those in here. Unpack that. Grab all of these files, because we I don't know which of these are necessary, so I'll just add all of them. Because I can't be bothered to find out. Early each grab. All the files from here, except for the EPE, because if we add that, it will create a fire leech instead of a, instead of a plane and add those under the fmod file always make sure that the fmods are at the top because else the sounds are gonna break i learned that the hard <laughs> way with the drones does it not resort itself hmm? does it not like um sort itself when you close the file in Oh no, in, it, uh, it will pack it in the, in the uh, holder that is in here. Hmm. So for example, it as you can see, the textures are up here. Yes. So if we were to put the textures under the models, the models wouldn't have textures because the models load first and then the textures... Oh, right, because, it, because it's, this uh, stays as a text file, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was thinking of the EPE that always sorts itself oh, in yeah, a different that way. Sorts itself, yeah. Uh, let's see if it's gonna complain. It does not, surprisingly. Let's make sure that our stuff is actually in there. Where is it? Here. Models. Weapons. Editor. Yep, our fire lead stuff is in here. And now comes the fun part. Where we just yoink the weapon from the fire leech and put it onto the plane. <coughs> where is it here? So this is the fire leech EP, so the one that file that actually puts everything together. And then let's go into the planes EP file as well. That one has a lot more stuff. Oh, it's already in effect. Okay, 
this is the start of the battle. This is one weapon. But this is the yeah, this is the missile. We want we want to replace that. The weapon has is this, all of this. And you can see we have fire positions, we have a bunch of internal setting stuff. This links to uh, models, the the missile model and the settings file for further settings. And the collision for the model. We have the fire effects and sounds. And we want to replace this with the fire leech itself. Uh, this obviously has a lot more stuff that we don't need. We do need this, since this is a um, missile weapon. It has linked down here in the settings is the... could be this. This is the force pulse, so this is the actual physics for the explosion. And then the force pulse links to the explosion effect table. So this is what the explosion will look like. And we'll need to add those, or else our missile will just hit the ground and nothing will happen. So, let's copy this weapon. And replace the default one. <clears throat> it's this. And this object ID here, let's quickly copy that by putting that in the search box for later. Why? I will show you in a bit. And by a bit, I mean in one second. We have that in here. Why is it zero? Wait, I gotta... Object ID. This should appear more than one time. Why does it not? Oh, this is set up differently. Okay, wait. Minigun. Okay, so this is the... Sorry, this is the actual weapon. <clears throat> the other one might actually be unused. I don't know. It might be. But... That there is the actual weapon. Let's copy this again. Why does it have to be so much? And... This, you can see, this is, this appears two times in this file. This is the object ID for this weapon. And if we go to the other one, this is, remember that long paragraph for the weapon that I said it has like core settings for the weapon? This is the core settings thing for the vehicle. And this is where the primary weapon is linked. And this should be the secondary one. So obviously if we put in a new weapon, we need to change this up here, or else it will just not have a, a primary weapon. So let's copy that by just putting that in the search field. And let's replace this weapon. Good idea if you do this. Make a copy of the default one. Just for later. I will show you why. So let's... Place the weapon. And, before we do anything, before we forget... In the search field, let's put the new weapon ID in here. So it actually knows to use this. So, what is next? We have... Let's leave it like that, then I can show you in-game. We can already remove a few things in here that might cause problems further down the road. For example, effects. Reload, start. We don't need to reload. This is a vehicle weapon. Holster the weapon. We don't need that. Dry fire. I guess this is the sound when it's empty? Let's just leave that for now. Pick up. We don't need that. We cannot pick it up. A draw weapon. We cannot draw the weapon. It is a vehicle weapon. Fire. That is useful. Missile launcher drop. Don't need that. Pick up constant context. We can remove all of this because we do not pick up the weapon. Where did it start? 
here. Wall penetration weapon component, that sounds important. Fire position, we also need that. So, let's see what this does. This is the... Yeah, this is the proper one. Let's refact that. It doesn't complain, that's good. Repack that. And... Let's keep a backup of the previous working version, just in case. And let's start the game and see if it works. <clears throat> also i'm still here i'm just uh writing a bit more yeah i realized i was like are you still here oh yeah you're probably just really focused yeah on I, I, I was like i was like let's get some stuff done <laughs> I, I i i um redrafted like two paragraphs in all the time you were streaming <laughs> so that wasn't really uh helping <clears throat> that much <laughs> all right i don't I actually think I renamed the jet in the menu. I did not. Hmm. Well, it is renamed next restart. Oh well. I know which one it is. Let's see if it's gonna crash the game or if it's gonna work. Modded RNC. Planes. Uh, it is the bottom one. And. No crash so far. Also, little observation you can see that there is a fire leech under the jet. We'll remove that in a second. But now, when we fire. Of course. Crash the game. <laughs> but why? Uh... Should I not have removed all of the uh, the stuff that I said we don't need? Well, uh, let's see about that. Hmm. That's the ID. Let's see if it works now. <clears throat> I think for the, um, I had to do something for the, um, the Fire Leech Wingsuit as well. So if it still crashes, I'll just take what I did for that. And then we'll see if it works. <clears throat> also, what could be is that it doesn't load the Fire Leech files I added properly. So... Let's see if it's that, by spawning the Fire Leech first, and then the plane. Let's see. Oh, I wanted to restart the server real quick so the name changes. So let's do that. Boing. <coughs> and now the name. There we go. 
Oh, it has the wrong icon. Damn it. That is not the problem right now, though. The problem is that it crashed the game. Let's equip the actual file age. So it was file loading problems, then that would be fixed now. But I have a feeling that that was not it. That was not it. <laughs> Oh, that was a really long crash. Alright, let's plagiarize my own work and just cause mods. Just cause the I cannot be bothered. If I had to properly fix this, this would take an hour or two. Because. Are you gonna find another modded vehicle to use as a reference or something? I already fixed it for the um, Fire Leech wingsuit. So I will just use that edited weapon instead of fixing mm. it myself right now. I mean, I already oh, fixed a... it myself, but like... So it's a it's a problem with the Fire Leech and not with the uh, Thunderhawk. It should be the gun, yeah, because it's not made to be on a gun. Hmm. You're the kind of guy I would call to help me sleep. <laughs> I won't take that as a compliment, so thank you. <laughs> I either that or you're too boring. Oh, or maybe, maybe oh. he <laughs> fair. No, it's, it's it's probably it's probably a compliment. <laughs> Alright, now what was the mod called? Oh yeah, it was like just cost for wingsuit but in JC3 here. Yeah. OP, what's this? Drop Sun Sky Fortress. Interesting. Oh, what was it? Locations, character, Rico. I think it was this. Your voice makes me sleepy. <laughs> Alright. Um, it's really funny because when I first started making videos, I really disliked hearing my voice. But now it's like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I think pretty much everyone has that, that mm, they yeah. dislike their own voice. Is this I mean, thing? I have the same thing, but well, you got to deal with it because you can't change it. Oh, this is the wrong file. No, to be honest, I, I don't dislike my voice as much as I dislike seeing myself on camera. Well, That's... I don't really see myself on camera, so I can't tell. <laughs> I mean, maybe yeah, I will. I mean, I mean, on videos or photos or something, I really can't stand that. Mm. Drop on Sky Fortress. Sky Fortress. Global. Hmm? Where is the wingsuit? Character. ELC. Sky Fortress. Locations. Character. Rico. Is it not in the DLC folder? Uh, maybe it's in the. The normal folder because some parts of the DLC wingsuit were already in the main game files, but not the wings, but not the DLC one. Anyway. No, but maybe they patched it into the the main character files. I will check that after. Maybe yeah. No, this is the overpowered one. It's all DLC drop zone, so it can't be Sky Fortress. What is in global? I think this is... What did I put in here? What did I add to that? Probably the Fire Leech files, right? Yeah, the Fire Leech files. <laughs> okay, then where is the wingsuit? I don't know. Rico. DLC, Sky Fortress locations, character, Rico. Oh, it's not unpacking everything because the file paths are too long. Makes sense, makes sense. If only Windows Explorer search actually worked. Hmm? 
that would if only Windows Explorer search actually worked <laughs> instead of taking like 20 hours to to find one file. Great job, great job. It will it it actually a potato has a ranted to me about that as well. Yeah, it's terrible. It takes so long. <laughs> Even when you have a small folder with like mm. a thousand things in it, like it doesn't have to be big, but um yeah, when it's like 10 gigabytes, but it has 1,000 files, mm -hmm. it can take minutes. It's insane. Why is it called Helicopter Missile? Is this what I replaced it with? Auto aim? RPG Fire Leech, yep, this is my modified one. So let's hope that this one actually works. Or this bullet hey, you know what's the you know what's the wrong the worst thing about the uh, window search mm -hmm. where you actually get the results yeah you get like a list of it right and that's yes. a separate window when you click a one of those a separate window no it's it's like in well the... uh, yeah not a not a separate window but it's not like a normal windows explorer mm -hmm. uh view when you click one of the results it shows you just a, that result but also leaves the window so when you use the key to get back to the previous window, mm -hmm. it deletes all your safe or your search results. So you need to search again. So you need to like um, open the result file in another window because mm -hmm. if you accidentally just click it normally, yeah, that's you annoying. need to do the whole search minutes long again. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's like the least user friendly they could make it. But you, I think you you can actually click on um, open a new window, right? Uh, yeah, you can. But if you just you should just click it and forget to open in a new window. Oh yeah, you're fucked. It's also annoying when you don't click on uh, open file path, then it doesn't give you the proper path at the top. It's like mm. the search. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I've had to happen too. So let's hope that me being lazy actually works. <laughs> is this the entire thing? Oh, it's just further to the right. I think it should work. It should work. ID. This was five. So let's swap that out. Maybe that is why I did that global thing. Tools. At least this morning stream is better than the last one where I was confused at the duck, <laughs> the duck vehicle. <laughs> I don't think I was there. Maybe briefly, but not for long. I think. Wait, you were? Yeah, of course you were there. You streamed, right? Yeah, I was there. I'm confused. What you mean? I wanted Why to would you videos. not be there? I wanted to... No, I think I said you weren't there, I think. Oh, yeah, probably. I, I don't remember it. Maybe I was in chat for just a moment, but not for long. Yeah, but yeah, we actually did something in the stream. We did the car, well, half of it. And now we're... I'm stealing my own work from two years ago. <laughs> That's allowed. Because, you know, weapons are annoying. You saw in here, this is the mm. important, wait, is this left, left wing point? Hello? Hi? Not you, I mean, <laughs> I was talking to the program. <laughs> like, this is the important stuff for weapons. You can see it's just random nonsense. It doesn't get the actual name, so, I don't know, this could say, like, I don't know, cool down or something like that, but we don't know what it says because the tools were never finished. Yeah, and, and most of these also be shuffle, mm. so you can't really, you need to actually write down the hash or whatever, and then kind of list it. I did this with the, um, what was it called, like the global... Or oh, the, weather, the weather file. Global yeah. parameters, whatever. Or the weather, there yeah. Were, there were, yeah, it was like a huge file that affected a lot of weather. 
mm. things like uh, like smoke effects uh, or like color shading and light uh, brightness, mm. all that kind of stuff. And it's a, it's a, it was a huge file full of um, all these kind of codes and nothing was clear what it was. So you had to change some of the values, start the game and see if anything changed. Mm -hmm. And then I broke <laughs> it all down for each file to see if it does, did anything. And I believe then at some point my computer died and some of it wasn't backed up. So I lost like a huge amount of process on progress on that file, like oh. two thirds of it. And then I couldn't bother to, uh, to do it anymore. Wait, but what is potentially the... it's potentially it's possible to, uh, if you manage to map all the information in that file to create some really cool weather and uh, graphic mods. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, uh, <laughs> like I said, I couldn't be bothered anymore. Okay, now the weapon just doesn't work. Why? Okay, is know. that an improvement? Uh, I'm not sure. It has the lock on, do you see that? Hang on. Do you see it? Mm. I'm waiting for it. It has the lock on, so clearly something works. Oh, yeah, I see, yeah. But also, it says missiles. Mm. But I think if you actually use the fire leads, it doesn't call yeah, them it, missiles, right? Yeah, it's a, it because on the other mod that I took this weapon from, I think I had it say missiles, that's why. Oh, okay. But why would it not work? Hmm. Whoops. But it, it's it's also not loaded. It says one or, or I mean <coughs> zero out of three hundred and uh, ninety-eight. Yeah, why would it should do it, that? Shouldn't it just say one out of? Yeah, why would it do that? Wasn't there? There's like a bug with certain other vehicles that, uh, especially when modded, that they don't actually load their ammunition sometimes, and then when you spawn them again, then sometimes they do spawn with their weapons. Maybe it's that. Ah. I don't know. Maybe it's try another plane. Oh wait, maybe. Why does it say ID? It should say name. Not ID. Maybe it doesn't like that, who knows? Name five. But I've had uh, weapons break, and then sometimes when I restarted the game and spawned it again, it suddenly did work. Hmm. This is the whole weapon that I grabbed. Maybe it doesn't like that I didn't include the force pulse, but I'm not sure. What is this? Parachute? Yeah, this isn't something else. Oh well, let's... Repack it and see if maybe that was the problem, like you said. If not, then it's just doing a just cause three moment and. I have to stare at this weapon for two hours before it works. Because as I was saying before, we don't know what most of this stuff here actually does. So what you end up doing when you want to do like this weapon stuff, you just add uh, this, this part here, you just change it to a weapon that does work on a car and then once after um, one line at a time you change it back and see what crashes the game so yeah that takes a lot of time and i don't want to do that today Thank you. 
Nope, it's still not loaded. Hmm. Oh hey, I see loading tips that I suggested. Hmm? I saw one of the loading tips that I suggested. Oh yeah, I think most of them are from me. Uh, yeah, I will probably do some looking into this off camera because this bores even me. So I'm I know board. a way to deal with. I know a way to deal with the boredom. Huh? I know a way to deal with all the boredom. Yeah. How? To do a duck space spawn. Oh yeah, we need to do that eventually as well. I mean, if you're up to it. Up for it. Doesn't take long. Ow. If I close this game now, I will fall asleep immediately. Hmm. Makes sense. You need to listen to your own voice all the time. Oh, I, for a second, I thought you meant like the voices in my head or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> Wait, you just said. You do you do you have out. those? Uh, no. I mean, maybe my dream, but that doesn't count. I guess. Did you use the last Firelace version? Grab it into the planes ET. Uh, I tried the default one, but that crashed the game. Then I tried taking one from another mod I made, where I put it on the wingsuit, but that just doesn't load. It appears to me sometimes and makes the weapon not work. Yeah, I need to take a default weapon and then slowly transition it to the Fire Leech to see which part crashes the game. But I won't be doing that on stream and I think with that I will end this stream. We have actually done something this time. We have done half of the car that I wanted to do. Next time we can... I will look at the textures. And then next time we can do the... Maybe we can make a green again, I hope, because I really like how it looks in green. And then maybe... And then next time we can do the wheels, the effects and lights. And then it's done. Yay. <laughs> so maybe you could be around for that again. That would be pretty cool. Perhaps. If I got if I've got time by then. Mm. Yeah. Meanwhile, I haven't done too much. I've tried. What do you mean? Like uh, during the stream, I tried to do some redrafting, but I haven't been that productive. Oh, you mean on the base? The base? No, on the critique. Oh, you mean just the day? Yeah, okay, fair. I thought you were talking about the Starfield phase. <laughs> ah, no. No, just today. You you <laughs> were talking about all we had done, and now I was like, well, I haven't done that much. <laughs> That's right. But it's kind of hard um, to write things when you're talking and listening to, to, to someone else. Yep, that makes sense, yeah. But yeah. Uh, next stream we will finish the car, and maybe I will have looked at the village by then, probably because, yeah, that would be a really fun vehicle. So yeah, thank you all for coming, and thank you also for joining Hugo. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you for having me. And we will see you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Bye-bye.